Hey guys, what's going on? This is Cross, and it's been a little while since I've done the Road to Commander. I say that quite a bit, but I kind of put it off. I recorded up to like episode 20, 21, something similar to that. And then afterward, I tried to do 23, 24, and I got some issues, some PVR problems, and just all in all, uh, connection issues, discrete error, stuff like that prevented me from making the other ones. So we're going to get back into this before I go on vacation. I'm going to try to get at least 20 to 30 gameplays, and I have about 10 days to do it. So... Let's head it off with some drop zone. Um, you can see that I have the new maps basically because of getting terminal was the main reason. In order to download terminal, if you were an elite member, you had to have all the elite content. Um, every single one. Then it enabled terminal, which was stupid. Um, I don't know. I'm glad that I have better, better internet because otherwise it would have taken hours. And I really don't want to play Piazza. I really don't. I hate Piazza. But, you know what, we'll try to make the best of it. Sniping on this map blows, uh, probably because you go up the downward stairs, back up the sideways stairs, now going upside the upside down stairs. I don't know, it's kind of dumb. I'm trying to think what I want to use. I haven't looked at my classes for a while. Let's try L11. Why not? I make sure my sensitivity's set. I play on 8. A lot of you guys always ask me that. At least like five times a day I get asked, oh, holy shit, look at that. Um, at least five times a day, or more than that, I get asked about sensitivity. And sensitivity to me is really simple. Um, you need to find something that you're very comfortable with, and also you need to understand what sensitivity allows you to do. If you have a sensitivity around eight, you're able to do everything. You're able to trick shot, you're able to hit uh, drag scopes, and be able to drag pretty far across the map, across the screen. If you play on three, you're not going to be able to drag scope. If you play on five, you won't be able to drag scope. I would say playing on six through eight would probably be your best. Um, I feel once you get to nine and ten, a lot of people panic and they overcorrect themselves. Like when you're getting shot at and you go for kill feeds or something similar to that, people are shooting at you and you flinch, you hit marker, so you go back to try to shoot him again, and you can't because you overcorrected. You know, you barely tapped your joystick and it moved the cursor like 10 feet in the opposite direction. That's why I don't play on 9 or 10. Um, the only time I would actually recommend 9 or 10 would be if you're doing trick shotting, which is something I don't do. But as far as the other players in phase, um, I would say it allows you to get more rotations, more spins. Uh, more complex trick shots. It's going to give you an edge there. So that's the only reason I would play on 10. But I don't play Search and Destroy, and I sure as hell don't trick shot. Um, that's just me. But we're going to play this on Bootleg, which is actually, I got to say, it's up there on one of my favorite maps. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, there's a couple things I don't like about it uh, a lot of head glitching, stuff like that. But for the most part, it's decent. And I pulled host. Um, no, wait, maybe I didn't. No, I didn't pull host. I just thought I did. Um, a bunch of other people are four bar. I'm not. I've never really hit four bar, even on my own host, which is kind of bad. Since I have this new internet connection, uh, it's pretty good. 15 up, 15 down, but as far as getting host a lot, nah, it depends. It's 50-50. It's Alright, I don't want to go down there because he has shotguns. I want to come back here and get behind him. Whoa, that's some lag. Holy shit. I, like, teleported. Come on, kid. Where are you at? I'm a little out of practice. You're gonna flob C4 in here? That's your big idea? Like, uh, I fucking hate C4 snipers. I always have strong opinions about stuff like that. And that's one of them. Uh, C4 just irritates, irritates me. It gets me, it really does. I don't see it as a way to play the game. It's like, you know, I'm just gonna walk around the corner, throw C4 everywhere I go in order to get kills. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is when I see players who get more C4 kills than they do weapons with their primary. Like, 
they're sniping, and they get 30 kills, and 15, 30, 20 of those are fucking with the, uh, god, I can't talk and play right now, I want to use the MSR, um, 20 kills are probably with C4, and then the other 10 are, you know, sniping, that's, that's something irritating to me, it's like kids who knew tube, it's the same concept, I'm just gonna throw C4 because, you know, I have it, uh, it's, it's, it's frustrating. Same with uh, RSASS. I don't like rapid fire guns uh, like that. It just encourages spraying. It encourages not utilizing uh, abilities to actually aim. You just pull the trigger as fast as you can and hope you hit someone twice, because then they die. Same with USASS. This is going to be a whole entire negative commentary. USASS is kind of bullshit. Um, it's like the striker, but... That thing has some fucking distance in this game. It's like the Spaz-12 of Modern Warfare 3. Um, I'm gonna get picked off by Type 95. Type 95 is sweaty. Uh, let's talk about that one. That is like your Rafika... Not Rafika... Yeah, it is a Rafika, but it's uh, not a pistol version. It's more of like your M16 from COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. That thing is a one-burst kill. Uh, if I remember right, up close, it takes less than two bullets to kill someone. Uh, so you could get a one hit with the FAMAS, uh, well, Type 95 in this game. And we were just getting fucking raped by all this bullshit of air support. Um, that's the one reason I don't enjoy using the MSR, because I don't have blind eye on it. I think I have a sleight of hand. And he's gonna know where I'm at, no matter where I go, that AC-130 will kick my ass. Um, that's what it does. My team's gonna spawn here, so... We should be back over there, but I can't move because my teammate's there. And then, what do you know? AC-130, yay! <laughs> this is like the world's most negative commentary today. But I think we'll start off doing all right uh, after I get a few games in me and warm up. Should probably put my glasses on, too. Ugh. Yeah, playing without glasses, not being able to see. Who knows? Excuses, excuses. Helicopter's going to kick my ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not having a good time right now. I'm really not. Almost got killed there, but the helicopter's kicking my ass again. It's shooting at me. Shot up my van. I don't really appreciate that. I like that van. I kind of wanted to keep the van. I'm going to get killed by an airstrike if I don't pay attention. Drop zone is so kill streak heavy, it's just insane. Uh, I understand the reason why um, they do it. I was thinking that there, it said there are three of them on there, so I was rather confused as to where I can only see one of them. Um, they should spawn down this direction. Take your USS and shove it. And the helicopter's back, thanks. I don't think it ever went away. <laughs> I might play a domination or something later. Something that I can actually get some kills in without getting shot in the ass every five minutes. I'm gonna get sprayed down, or no, I got killed by a predator. He was shooting his RSASS at me though, that's for sure. Lag! Make me host, and then I won't have lag. Um, Modern Warfare 3 is such a connection-based game. I think that goes with any Call of Duty. Um, if you're host, you're gonna have better hit registration. Um, your bullets are gonna register before theirs do. The list goes on. I don't like the spawn we're in right here. It's pretty pretty shitty. Uh, I want to get out of it, make a spawn on the back hill over here, but I think that's where they're going to spawn. Uh, no matter what we do. That fucking helicopter. I can't even start killing these guys. Collat headshot. Thank you. Can I get a third one? No. I'll just miss four times in a row. No big deal. Um... I kind of wanted to make that into a triple headshot feed, that would have been nice, but apparently I suck. And the helicopter's back. Now, yeah, I was getting shot at by the helicopter and then by the guy with an ACR. Not having a good time. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm having a really bad luck streak with the kill streaks, but um, that's what happens when you play alone. You, uh, you just have to put up with some shit. Nah, through the smoke. Fuck.
They should spawn up top there, and then they'll come up behind us. Yeah, but I can't take out Juggernaut with uh, what I have on right now. I really can't. Um, I could probably throwing knife it and then knife it and keep doing that, but it's going to kill me. Um, I'm pretty sure it would at least. Uh, the easiest way to kill a Juggernaut is if you have a Barret, lay down in prone and spray it. Other than that, FMG 9's Akimbo would cut through that stuff rather quickly. I think it takes half a clip or a full clip. Uh, half a two clip, so one full clip would probably down it. If I remember correctly, I don't think the damage between Akimbo single versus... Uh, well, just having a single one versus Akimbo wouldn't really matter a whole lot. Alright, Juggernaut. Yeah, I'm gonna get headshot of there really, really fast. I really don't like juggernauts. They're like shit in the game that you don't want in the game. Like it's just let's put painkiller in the game, you know, stuff like that. That's kind of what I compare it to. No one wants to have to walk around and fight some guy that you can't kill. I like Call of Duty 4. Um, I like simple kill streaks. I like it to be laid out to where it's not over complex. You don't have Harriers from Modern Warfare 2 that you call in a Harrier, you get 10 kills. You call in a attack helicopter from Modern Warfare 2, you get like one. Uh, unbalanced kill streaks, stuff like that, are kind of a. They kind of put a sour taste in my mouth. So, anyway, guys, I'm level 40 now. Um, we started off at level 0, so we're, we're making it there. We're about halfway there. Um, I'm pretty confident in the fact that we can get this finished um i just want to know if you guys are gonna help me out by cheering me on through this whole thing i would appreciate that a lot if you guys would leave some awesome comments and i will be back with another video guys hopefully